Hey guys, TimeBlitz here, and we're back with the next episode of Tribe Overview. Today we'll be covering the Sea Wing, since it got the most votes between the two polls I had going on. I had one here in the community tab on YouTube, and the other on my Discord. Once again, I hope this video helps inspire you to create your own Wings of Fire OCs, or even just to pick up one of the books and see what all the hype is about. Without further ado, let's get to it. As you may have guessed, Sea Wings are the aquatic dragons of Pyria. They have gills on their necks that allow them to breathe underwater. With webbed talons and strong tails, they're the best swimmers out of all of the tribes. Their scales come in shades of blue, green, and in some cases, indigo. In addition, Princess Anemone is a light blue dragon with pale pink wings, and Prince Albatross has blue-gray scales that were so pale that they almost looked white. Their eyes are usually blue, green, or a grayish color, though Albatrosses were much darker blue, to the point where they almost looked black. However, his different look comes from his mixed heritage, as he's got ice wing blood in his veins. Sea wings are generally short with long compact bodies and curved horns. Sea wings also have small tendrils that come off the bottom of their chins and whip spines down their back and chest. One of the most notable features of the sea wings, however, is that they have bioluminescent stripes they can light up at will. They use these stripes to attract mates and communicate underwater in their second language called aquatic. Patterning of their stripes seem to be something passed down through a family, seeing how Royal Sea Wing family is known for having certain spiral marks on their wings. Sea Wings also have used their lights to try and blind opponents, or to simply light up an area. Another ability Sea Wings has is night vision. They can see much better in the dark than some other tribes, most likely to help them see in the depths of the sea. They're also one of the few tribes known to have Animus Dragons. Their animus magic seems to be exclusive to the royal family for now, but that may change in the future or be disproven by the appearance of a common or sea wing animus. Sea wings tend to be named after ocean plants, animals, and features. This includes the names tsunami, gill, shark, kelp, etc. They can also be named after colors, specifically in the range of their scales. This results in names such as indigo, cerulean, and sapphire. Basically, oceany, watery sorts of things. Sea Wings reside in the Sea Kingdom under the rule of Queen Coral. They have two palaces, the Summer Palace, where they welcome other tribe guests, and the Deep Sea Palace, which is well hidden and only accessible by their own tribe because it's underwater. Before the Summer Palace was created, they used the Island Palace, but it has since been abandoned due to an unfortunate massacre that took place there. The Sea Wing tribe seems to be chock full of artisans. The royal family likes to adorn themselves with jewelry, and the tribe writes and sends out many scrolls for other dragons to read. When the queen writes a new book, it often gets placed into the school curriculum, and from that we can infer that generally they are well educated as well. Being kept away from water for long periods of time can also be very harmful for sea wings, and can result in driving them to insanity. The entire royal family is also very distantly related to the ice wings. They have suffered quite a bit and have a bloody and tragic history. However, that history would do better in its own video rather than this overview. And with that, I think we're ready to wrap up this video. If I missed anything or you'd like to add on, feel free to leave a comment for others to see. I hope this was informational, and I hoped it helped you learn a bit about the Sea Wings. If you have a specific tribe you'd like to see next, be sure to tell me down below. Thank you all so much for watching, Time Blitz out.